Hello fellow jazz guitar freaks. I just wanted to share four guitars. The last one is the reason for the title of this video, which is you're not going to believe it. Because I think for the size of the guitar, the price of the guitar, the construction of the guitar, you may be surprised as I was to hear the sound uh, compared to some of the more traditional ones that we know and love, starting with uh, Super 400 63 with a couple of paths, and then we'll compare it to an L7 with a McCarty, and a thin body Gobel 63 with a floating Rhythm Chief 1100. So, with no further ado, just a quick a little bit of noodling so you can hear the tone difference until we get to the last mystery guitar that you probably will agree sounds pretty good. guitar one and as Murphy's Law would have it the playing is likely to get worse but I hope that the sounds of the guitars don't get worse this is the uh, 70 sorry 37 L7 I got just a couple of days ago here in Japan it's got the cool soundboard uh, sorry fingerboard and I put a McCarty on after testing several floaters I found this one to be I guess the most fitting, I think these are mahogany sides and back as opposed to maple and maybe this pickup is more fitting for that. This has really new strings on it so it's going to be a little... Sounds pretty decent from the room anyway. A little tinny with the maybe the new strings or nickel wound round with uh, steel. Steel, nickel wound steel. This is the 63 George Gobel. Supposedly it's one of two made in blonde. The other ones you've seen, I think I've showed before, the red ones uh, were made for George Gobel. Whoops. This one, I'm not sure who it was made for, but just to give you a sound test, it's got a Rhythm Chief 1100 on it. Okay, that has flat wounds on it by the way, you may have noticed, but overall it sounds pretty decent. I 
that goes to the other ones. Now the mystery guitar is none other than this little ES100 and it's in decent condition, 1938. The Charlie Christian you see here, obviously the bobbin is rectangle and white, which is how they came. I think they made 20, uh, 200 of these. And I thought it would be just kind of fun to have and try because it looks kind of unique. But then I fell in love with the sound. And for a small little guitar, it's got quite low end. find one I highly recommend it you can pick them up if you find them for I guess maybe three to four thousand dollars so not terribly cheap but as I said by comparison I think they can uh, punch way above their weight anyway I hope you enjoyed the sound sample and commentary take care <laughs>